Hey friends, Ty back at you again with another fragrance video. Today we're going to discuss all of the scents, or I should say some of the scents that YouTube made me buy. Now these scents are extremely popular with the ladies and some gentlemen on YouTube. Um, the first one that we're going to discuss is a, I don't want to say fake, but it's a lower priced option for Baccarat Rouge by MJ, MFK. Um, the one that I'm speaking of is by Miss Ariana Grande, The Cloud. Now, I really like this scent. Um, I do not have a bottle of the uh, Baccarat Rouge, so I can't really say if it's similar or not. Some people say it is, some people say it is not. Um, whether it is or it's not, this is a very sweet perfume. I do enjoy it. Um, I, I am into a very sweet, very fruity, very girly scents. Um, so this is right up my alley, whether it's a, you know, a dupe or not for the very famous uh, Baccarat Rouge. Um, this perfume opens with bergamot and pear and lavender. Uh, the mid notes are going to be praline, vanilla orchid, coconut, and the synthetic whipped cream, which makes it very sweet, makes it very good. And um, the bottom, the base notes are going to be um, musky, woody. So it does give it a little bit of staying power. If you layer it, you can make it last for about six to eight hours. Um, the second uh, one we're going to discuss is by Miss Rihanna and it's Rebel Floor. Um, again, this is very, very popular on YouTube. Um, a lot of ladies and gentlemen really like this. I enjoy this perfume as well. It's very fruity, which again is my one of my favorites. Um, I love fruity scents. Um, this has red berries. This has plum. It has peach, tuberose, hibiscus. It has um, a base note of vanilla and uh, amber and musk. It dries down a little musky. Um, it has a little patchouli in it as well, allegedly. I don't smell the patchouli in it. I get mostly very, very uh, fruity, very red berries. I do get the, um, the red berries. Now the third one that we're going to discuss is going to be the very, very, very heavy, shout out, ooh, um, by Swiss Arabian. I like this. This is a heavy hitter. Um, if you, excuse me, my cat just decided to come and join the uh, video. If you spray this, two sprays is it. It's nice. It starts out very spicy. The saffron on the top note, you can definitely smell it. Um, it is, again, it's strong. It's a heavy hitter. It's something that you're gonna wear when it's cold outside. Don't ever wear this when it's hot. Um, because it's, it's going to choke you. It's going to be too much. Um, it has the uh, base notes of... Can I see if I can remember? No, I have to look at my tablet. Um, the base notes... Okay, top notes are saffron. Then the base notes are going to be rose and oud. It's very, it's very oudy, um, if that's a word. Um, hence the name, Shaga Um You're going to have praline, vanilla, and oud in the dry down. Um, it's strong. It's nice, though. It's a very nice fragrance. I like it. Um, I'm glad I purchased it. I'm going to keep it in my, uh, my collection. Um, I don't foresee me having to purchase another bottle for a long, long time because, again, two sprays will do you. It's enough. Um, and the last one is by Miss Carolina Herrera. Good girl. Now, without even smelling this, this is a beautiful bottle. This will look so beautiful on your vanity. Um, this nice high heel shoe. I wish I could wear heels this high, but it's it's a really nice fragrance. It um, has the almond, has the coffee, it has the bergamot, has the uh, jasmine, Sambac, it has the orris, it has the rose, Bulgarian rose. 
um, it dries down nice and woody. It has um, amber taco bean musk. There's going to be cacao and sandalwood. Um, all of those elements make for a beautiful scent. Um, you can wear this in the spring. You can even wear this in the winter if you like, as long as you don't overspray. That's my issue. I am an oversprayer. If I like a scent, I just want to cover myself in it. Um, that's something that you shouldn't do with this one. Or the shaga food because you want to choke yourself and everybody else around you so um, those are the four scents that YouTube made me buy I'm sure this is gonna be the first edition because there's a couple others that I have in my collection and I purchased them as blind buys and I also purchased them because I saw different um, perfume review reviewers on YouTube review them so um, on that note, I am going to say good night. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you enjoy my content, please uh, subscribe and hit the like button. And after you subscribe, you can hit that bell. And as soon as I upload, which I do frequently, you'll be notified. So everyone stay blessed, stay healthy, and have a great day. Bye.